Hi everyone, this is Ami Diamond. In the last episode, I showed you the new Planner app that replaced the task by Planner and to do in Microsoft Teams. But uh, I wanted to share with you something new. When we create a new plan, then we can choose basic and premium. So let's just choose one or one of the templates. Let's choose a project template and let's use the template. Here, uh, you can provide a name, you can pin it to the left, and uh, if you don't choose a group, what it will do, it will create a private planner. Now it's private, because you see there's a lock here, private to you. So anything you do, only you have access, and if you add additional people, you'll go to the share, and you can add to an existing group, or to add members to, to this group. So let's add Alex and let's create it. And only now the group is created. You'll see that the icon of private has disappeared. And you see now we have the information, the group was created and it says only group owners can add members. So, so currently now what's strange is that I am the group owner, yes, but it's not clear how do I add additional people. So uh, let's try to check this and uh, let's go to the three dogs. No, I don't see anything. Now, I don't know if it's because this technical error, but let's try again. And let's try to open this in, in the web. So let's see we're on the same uh, place and let's go to Planner. And the name was Project something, Project Management. So it seems here um, I can add the members. So for some reason here I can do that, but after I created the first time, I cannot add additional people um, through the teams. So this is interesting. Here I can add uh, uh, Lee Gu, and I am the group owner. So. Strangely enough, it's not possible after you initially invite people, you cannot manage the permissions here. You need to do it through the web. So if you like my channel and tips and tricks, let me know and goodbye.